I have to do this again for the fourth time because I am all over the place tonight and my uh, filming skills suck. So anyway, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here with me. We have been reading Proverbs and we are going to read it all the way through. It is my one of my favorite books in the Bible. Um, it is a very good book and there is so much wisdom and understanding and knowledge to be shared in this book. Um, so yeah, we are on Proverbs 16 and we're going to read all the way to 18. So here we go. Let's do it. The preparations of the heart belong to man, but the answer of the tongue is from the Lord. All the ways of man are pure in his own eyes, but the Lord weighs the spirits. Just think about that. All the ways of man are pure in his own mind. That right there tells us that a lot of the things that we think are okay and that we're doing are just, they're not God's way. And that is why the word of God is so important. And that is why the Lord weighs our spirit. Commit your works to the Lord and your thoughts will be established. The Lord has made for himself, yes, even the wicked for the day of doom. The Lord has made all for himself, yes, even the wicked was made for the day of doom. God made everything for his glory, including the wicked guys. He, he literally created wicked people for his glory. And that, that might sound so hard to understand, but once you become a student of the word and you really, really read and seek out God's character, you will see why. Every proud heart, is an abomination to the Lord. And though they join forces, none will go unpunished. In mercy and truth, atonement is provided for iniquity. And by the fear of the Lord, one departs from evil. When a man's ways please the Lord, he makes even his enemies be at peace with him. That is one of my favorite Bible verses, and it is so true. When you walk in the ways of the Lord, when you walk in his ways. Even your enemies will be at peace with you. I am a proof. I am proof of that Bible verse every single day. I am proof of that Bible verse every single day of my life. What is on me? Even his enemies to be at peace with him. He makes even his enemies be at peace with him. That could not be any more true. Um, when you begin to walk in God's ways fully and, and do as he commands in his scripture, even your enemies will be at peace with you. Even in those times where you are so scared and you are so nervous, when your ways are pleasing to God, your enemies will be at peace with you. Better is a little with righteousness than vast revenues without justice. A man's heart plans his way, but the Lord directs his steps. Man, do we not know that? There are so many things that we plan in our lives and so many visions we have for ourselves and they just are not ever gonna be the way that we imagine them. They are always God's way, but his way is so much better than ours. Divination is on the lips of the king. His mouth must not transgress in judgment. Honest weights and skills are the Lord's. All the weights in the bag are his work. It is an abomination for kings to commit wickedness, for a throne is established by righteousness. Righteous lips are the delight of kings, and they love him who speaks what is right. As messengers of death is a king's wrath but a wise man will appease it. In the light of the king's face is a light, and his favor is like the cloud of the latter rain. How much better to get wisdom than gold and to get understanding is to be chosen rather than silver. Again, this is like the fifth time this verse has come up in, in different words, okay? Wisdom is better than gold and choice silver, more fine than rubies. 
The highway of the upright is to depart from evil, and he who keeps his way preserves his soul. I'm just going to track back for one second here. My whole life, I've been a wisdom seeker. I thought that I was so wise, and it turns out I knew nothing until I knew God's word, until I started studying his word. That is where, that is where the wisdom in my life has come from. <clears throat> The highway of the upright is to depart from evil, and he who keeps his way preserves his soul. Pride goes before destruction, and a haughty spirit before a fall. Better to be of a humble spirit with the lowly than to divide the spoil with the proud. Absolutely. He who heeds the word wisely will find good, and whoever trusts in the Lord, happy is he. Isn't that the truth? The wise in heart will be called prudent, and sweetness of the lips increases learning. Understanding is a wellspring of life to him who has it, but the correction of fools is folly. The heart of the wise teaches his mouth and adds learning to his lips. Pleasant words are like a honeycomb, sweetness to the soul and health to the bones. That is so true. Pleasant words are like a honeycomb, sweetness to the soul and health to the bones. There is a way that seems right to a man, but it ends in the way of death. The person who labors, labors for himself, for his hungry mouth drives him on. An ungodly man digs up evil, and it is on his lips like a burning fire. A perverse man sows strife and a whisper separates the best of friends. Ooh, talking behind each other's backs. Separates the best of friends. A violent man entices his neighbor and leads him in a way that is not good. He winks his eye to devise perverse things. He purses his lips and brings about evil. The silver-haired head is a crown of glory if it is found in the way of righteousness. Guys, this is so funny, this verse, okay? So when I when I got married, I started growing gray hairs. I don't know if you can see them there. I actually have grays. What They started when I came back into my faith, and then when I got married, I grew more, and I just grow more and more gray hairs. The more I, the more I learn the word of God, I, I grow these gray hairs, and I really don't know if they're connected but that it's my crown of glory like I'm actually proud of my gray hair when I was younger I thought when I when I grow gray hair I'm gonna be so I don't want to have gray hair but now that I have gray hair I'm like well the Bible says that it's the crown of glory so that's really awesome he who is slow to anger is better than the mighty and he who rules his spirit than he who takes the city the lot is cast into the lap but it's every decision is from the lord Ooh, so true better is a dry morsel with quietness than a house full of feasting with strife a wise servant will rule over a son who causes shame and will share an inheritance among the brothers the refining pot is for silver and the furnace for gold but the Lord tests the hearts. An evildoer gives heed to false lips. A liar listens eagerly to a spiteful tongue. He who mocks the poor reproaches his maker. He who is glad at calamity will not go unpunished. Children's children are the crown of old men and the glory of children is their father. Excellent speech is not becoming to a fool, much less lying lips to a prince. A present is a precious stone in the eyes of its possessor. Wherever he turns, he prospers. He who covers a transgression seeks love, but he who repeats a matter separates friends. When your friends sin and they come to you in confidence about their sin, 
He who covers a transgression seeks love. But he who repeats a matter separates friends. You do not go and tell other people. You do not go and spread rumors. Rebuke is more effective for a wise man than a hundred blows on a fool. Absolutely. An evil man seeks only rebellion. Therefore, a cruel messenger will be sent against him. Let a man meet a bear robbed of her cubs rather than a fool in his folly. Wow. <laughs> Whoever rewards evil for good, evil will not depart from his house. The beginning of strife is like releasing of water. Therefore, stop contention before a quarrel starts. He who justifies the wicked and he who condemns the just, both of them alike are an abomination to the Lord. Why is there in the hand of a fool the purchase price of wisdom, since he has no heart for it? A friend loves at all times, and a brother is born for adversity. A man devoid of understanding shakes hands in a pledge and becomes a surety for his friend. He who loves transgression loves strife, and he who exalts his gate seeks destruction. He who has a deceitful heart finds no good, and he who has a perverse tongue falls into evil. He who begets a scoffer does so to his sorrow, and the father of a fool has no joy. A merry heart does good like medicine, but a broken spirit dries the bones. A wicked man accepts a bribe behind the back to pervert <clears throat> a wicked man accepts a bribe behind the back to pervert the ways of justice. Wisdom is in the sight of him who has understanding, but the eyes of a fool are on the ends of the earth. But the eyes of a fool are on the ends of the earth. A foolish son is grief to his father and bitterness to her who bore him. Also, to punish the righteous is not good, nor to strike princes for their uprightness. He who has knowledge spares his words, and a man of understanding is of a calm spirit. Even a fool is counted wise when he holds his peace. When he shuts his lips, he is considered perceptive. Wow. A man who isolates himself seeks his own desire. He rages against all wise judgment. A fool has no delight in understanding, but in expressing his own heart. When the wicked comes, contempt comes also, and with dishonor comes reproach. The words of a man's mouth are deep waters. The wellspring of wisdom is a flowing brook. It is not good to show partiality to the wicked or to overthrow the righteous in judgment. A fool's lips enter into contention and his mouth calls for blows. A fool's mouth is hidden, sorry, a fool's mouth is his destruction and his lips are the snare of his soul. The words of a talebearer are like tasty trifles and they go down into the inmost body. He who is slothful in his work is is a brother to him who is a great destroyer. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run to it and are safe. The rich man's wealth is his strong city and like a high wall, his own esteem. Before destruction, the heart of a man is haughty and before honor is humility. He who answers a matter before he hears it it is folly and shame on him. The spirit of man will sustain him in sickness, but who can bear a broken spirit? The heart of the prudent acquires knowledge and the ear of the wise seeks knowledge. A man's gift makes room for him and brings him before great men. The first one to plead his cause seems right until his neighbor comes and ex examines him. Casting lots causes contentions to cease, 
and keeps the mighty apart. A brother offended is harder to win than a strong city, and contention are like the bars of a castle. A man's stomach shall be satisfied from the fruit of his mouth. From the produce of his lips he shall be filled. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and those who love it will eat its fruit. We really need to be careful what we say. And that's not just to each other. That is literally be careful what we say because we we can curse ourselves. We can curse others. And cursing is not just saying swear words and saying bad words. We really, really, really need to watch our tongues. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. And those who love it will eat its fruits. He who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. The poor man uses entreaties, but the rich answers roughly. A man who has friends must himself be friendly, but there is a friend who sticks closer than a brother. This verse is often misinterpreted. Many people think that it is talking about having other Christian friends in the faith that, and when you do that they are closer than a brother. I'm going to read this one more time and I want you guys to really, really listen and grasp what I'm saying here. A man who has friends must himself be friendly. If you have friends, you must be friendly, right? But there is a friend who sticks closer than a brother. It is talking about the Holy Spirit here. We are done. So anyway, that is talking about the Holy Spirit. So we just read through from 16 all the way through 18. I am really glad that you guys um, are enjoying these Bible studies. And if there's anything that you guys want to point out um, that I read over in the comments, that is, that is totally okay. That would be actually um, I would love that whatever kind of insights you might have or if you have questions if there's anything that you know stuck out to you anything that you may have learned during this um, this reading just comment it in the comments and we can talk about it um, because as as you guys must know iron sharpens iron so thanks so much for um, coming back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you guys are enjoying the Proverbs. Like I said, they are awesome, awesome book and so much, so much wisdom to be gained in this book. Um, I hope you guys all have an awesome evening and I hope you are here tomorrow for the next proverb. Have a amazing night. Shalom guys.